we've talked a lot about how classes, um, especially in middle school where we're working, usually you learn about science in your science class and you learn about, you know, if you're fortunate enough to have an engineering or technology class in your school, you'll learn about that in your engineering or technology class. But, um, you know, a place like Boston Dynamics that we were just talking about, they're not making those types of distinctions. Everyone's kind of doing all of this reasoning across disciplines, you know, together in order to meet a goal. And so we just thought that was a really nice approach and we wanted to be able to bring that approach um, into classrooms. And I'll let Kristen or Julie pick up. Well, there's a lot of research that shows that that's more engaging, you know, mm -hmm. and, and it relates to the real world much more closely. Mm -hmm. And um, that if it's well done, that they learn in all of the disciplines that are mm -hmm. involved, so. We also, I think, had a sense that um, different teachers would have different opportunities and challenges in terms of bringing robotics experiences into their classroom. And so by creating an interdisciplinary curriculum, there could be different entry points for different teachers. So a science teacher might feel like, oh, okay, like I understand how to help students analyze structures of animals and think about their functions. That can be where I launch into this and then we can all learn the robotics together. Whereas a technology or engineering teacher might be more comfortable with the coding aspect of it, but be excited to learn the new piece of the animal analysis. So I don't know that that was our original, I don't know, it was a piece of the original conversations and it turned out to be important. But, um, I think we also thought about different entry points for the students as well as the oh, teachers yeah. that some students are, are similarly either more comfortable or extremely excited about um, having the chance to, to work with the robots and work with the materials or do some programming and that just kind of gives them a different way into the science or vice versa. Mm -hmm. So it felt very versatile. The other piece on the other end is the student learning um, of each discipline we hoped would be richer because of what was added by the other disciplines just like at boston yeah. dynamics like they build better robots because they bring in scientific ideas and science practices investigating animals um, and other things in the natural world the students will learn engineering better if they're bringing science reasoning and science ideas into it and vice versa so i think we saw the interdisciplinarity as a way to enrich their learning trajectories in each of the domains as well. Mm -hmm.